I've been meaning to tell you, we have one open spot left in the Royal Rumble. Know anybody who might be interested? Yes, me. I'd love to get a chance to be in the Royal Rumble. I figured you'd say something like that. Well, here's what we're going to do. First, we'll have a six-woman tag match. The winning team will then immediately compete in a triple threat over the top rope challenge. Last woman standing gets the Rumble spot. Sounds like a tough assignment. But if that's what it takes, I'm in. I know I'm up to the challenge. The following contest is a six-woman tag team match. On the way to the ring, Ray N. Mercer, Mia Yim, and Dakota Kai. Her presence certainly ruffled feathers in the women's locker room. No one wanted an actor slash reality star to take a spot on the roster. Other superstars thought she'd stroll in here once a week, wave to the WWE Universe, and leave. To this actor-turned-superstar's credit, she proved to be the real deal inside the ring. Well, this is a true ballsy entrance. California, Shotzi! This is what happens when your parents don't show you enough attention as a child. Well, there's no doubt she's one of the most unique women superstars in history. Has quickly earned success in NXT, even winning the tag team titles with Ember Moon. Saxon, I think you should lay down and play speed bump for that tank. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea, Corey. Why don't you just stand up in front of it? Just stand there. Just stand there. You want me to get hurt, don't you, Michael? It's always better to follow a tank than have to face it. Why don't you get up there and test that theory, Saxton? Yeah, I'm good. Well, here comes the girl with the shiniest wizard a competitor that's shown she possesses tremendous heart from bell to bell a true inspirational superstar and from the welsh valleys tegan knox well tegan was betrayed by her former best friend dakota kai in the first ever women's war games match all that says to me is that Tegan Knox simply isn't a very good best friend. Saxton? Saxton? I was there my comment. Saxton? Well, a feel-good story every time Tegan Knox competes.
a massive presence in the women's division. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Gonzalez. It's hard to name a faster ascent to the top of NXT. Just over a year after her debut, she became NXT Women's Champion. She handed Io Shirai her first singles pinfall loss in nearly two years to become NXT Women's Champion. Look at the spectacular physique of this woman. A back so big, you could drive your car up to it and watch a movie on it. You gotta find out what her workout plan is like. Harder than yours, Saxton, harder than yours. Six-woman tag matches don't get much more high stakes than this, not with a potential life-changing opportunity on the line. That's right, Michael. The winners of this six-woman tag will compete against each other in a triple threat to determine who gets NXT's final spot in the upcoming Royal Rumble. Only one of these six women will earn the chance to give their careers a massive spotlight on one of WWE's biggest stages. But first, their team has to win right here, right now. in a dangerous position up top. It's about to get worse from here. Superplex from the top. She's starting to look concerned. There's a supreme woman in our midst. Show some respect, WWE Universe. down with the axe handle. And Shotzi is being taken apart here. Blackheart needs to reestablish herself back in this match. Shotzi holds her off. Got the leg. Ooh, a dragon 
Oscar. That'll destroy a knee. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Now into a power bomb. Mia scales all the way up. to the skies. She's tagged in. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. I think you're right. here tonight. They are riding high on this win. This celebration might carry on the rest of the month. Mia Yim, Dakota Kai, and their teammate were up to the challenge in the six-woman tag, but now they face each other in an over-the-top rope challenge for NXT's final spot in the Royal Rumble. These three super talented superstars will have to put their team triumph behind them in this demanding triple threat where it will be every woman for herself. It's simple, guys. Win here or watch the Rumble from home. The last woman in the ring wins. Taking flight! What a splash! Power slam! Powerless position to be in right now. Power bomb! That offense really hitting her hard. It's expected, Cole. In a triple threat match, the target on your back is twice the size. Slam! And the scary thing is, these attacks are being done with great ease. And now it appears an alliance has been formed against Dakota Kai. What does she do to deserve this? It backfires, and Mia Yim is eliminated. Mia Yim is extremely upset. One of these women will advance to the Royal Rumble. Dakota Kai with an opening. She did it! Dakota Kai is headed to the Royal Rumble! This isn't over between these two. So much was on the line in this match, and understandably, frustrations are high. Here they go again. Who needs the Royal Rumble when you have this? Now, well, this isn't going to potentially earn them a championship match at WrestleMania. True, but it'll help blow off some steam. Can anyone get this under control? Finally, it looks like they've been separated, but I'm sure this isn't the last these two will hear from each other.
They're here. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, Ray N. Mercer and Mia Yim. It was an enormous endeavor to leave Hollywood in the rearview mirror and immerse herself in sports entertainment. She had no idea it was required to be a top tier athlete, but she has pushed her body to get into a condition she never imagined. It's Candice Wrestling! And their opponents first from Anaheim, California, Candice LeRae! You know, Candice is a professional baker, so I wonder if her opponents can smell what the LeRae is cooking. <laughs> oh my God, Byron, just what I think, you couldn't possibly be any dumber. You go and say something like that and totally proved me wrong. I thought it was good. You know, Byron, she describes herself as a modern-day Mighty Mouse. Yeah, such a, a positive energy that Candice LeRae brings to the equation. Listen to this place on its feet. Here comes the war goddess, the Sheenom. And from Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon. You can thank Hall of Famer Booker <laughs> T for much of Ember Moon's success. The first competitor to ever win both the women's title and women's tag team titles in NXT. Something tells me Ember's Law is about to be served tonight. Team match is sure to be filled with exciting action. These teams want to win bad tonight, and they'll fight hard to get it. Yeah, these superstars look like they're all business, not a weak link among them. Oh my! Oh, that gets reversed on Lorraine. the tag opponent off the ropes oh god John impact oh foot just stomping down up and down brutal she's forced onto the defensive now She has no idea where she is right now. And I assure you that... Uh-oh. This is not going to be nice. This is going to be nasty. It's all about winning, no matter what it takes. Superplex! Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. Got the leg. Screw. That'll tear your knee up. Oh, mount 
Bouncing. And hammering away. And Mia with the counter. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Yes. From way up. She certainly took a chance there. High risk with no reward. Uh-oh. And a suplex. And Ember's resolve might be wavering here. Seeing all of Mia's skill on display. Mia has her shot lined up. Here it comes, Mia Yim. She calls this. Will that clinch things for Mia? Oh, across the top rope. Oh, right across the floor. She's starting to tire a little. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Oh, yeah, she is really getting fired up. Come on, what's going on here? Pay attention to your competition. Ooh, pinpointing the trachea. to do next year. If you ask me, they're ready to compete for the Women's Tag Team Championships. I completely agree with that, Byron. Whoa, what the heck? Mia Yim just took out her partner. That came out of nowhere. Why in the world would she do that? I know they'd had their differences over that Royal Rumble spot, but it looked like they had put that behind them. Apparently not.
This superstar looks like she's on a mission. Look out. She's attacked from behind. Here we go. We're going to see the walls come down here. This is out of control. I don't like the looks of this. I don't either, Corey. Not one bit. The backstage area is no place to settle your differences. Ooh, well measured. She's fighting back. Close line. So effective. This is just brute power. My goodness. Absolute dominance. Kick to the midsection, yeah. sunset flip. Wow! wow. Oh, into a power bomb. Right to the leg. And she has an answer for Mia. She returns the favor there. Uh-oh. Look at this! Uh oh, it's right! Fall away slam! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh man! Oh! With authority! And she's using this moment to summon all of her strength. Just turn that around. A counter answered by another counter. All oh, the way up. Out backbreaker. She's getting that table right where she wants it. She clearly has something in mind. Right in the kisser. And Mia evades that. She did her homework there. Ooh, stiff punch. Punishing power slam. She's got her where she wants her. Mia Yim retaliates. Right in the mouth, relentless. Oh. Enough already. <laughs> Was ready for that. Uh. Ooh, she just turned it around. <laughs> she saw it coming. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. This ends right here. Ah. Through the table. Oh, wow.
The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making her way to the ring from Manhasset, New York, Ray N. Mercer. She said she grew tired of making movies and needed a new challenge, a new passion. Well, there's a fine line between guts and stupidity. She's a natural born artist who fell in love with competing and has put in the work. This could be what lets her kiss Hollywood goodbye forever. Time for her to lock up. There's a lot of turbulent history between the two women in this ring tonight, and the next chapter in their explosive story is now underway. Mia Yim and her opponent have fought with each other and against each other, but they've never fought any match as brutal as this. For once, I agree with you, Saxton. This may not be the Royal Rumble match they were hoping for, but after everything they've been through, a win here will feel just as satisfying. No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. She's getting something from under the ring. Oh, boy. Kendo stick in hand. Nefarious look in her eyes. Bang! Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. This is not the time to be diverting attention away from your opponent. Oh! There is nothing but mal-intent behind each of these attacks. Ah, oh, and Yim turns the tables. Devastating kick. Uh-oh. Oh, and she turns it around. Boom! A well-aimed strike. Mia has lost any momentum here. Yim needs to reassess her strategy. Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. Fishy for something beneath the ring. A steel chair? Something we all know can be a devastating weapon. Things taking a turn for her now. Oh, strong impact! Thank you. You better have an aptitude for pain because it just keeps coming. Oh, Yim anticipated that. Oh. And she's able to fight me off. It's time for her to take advantage of that misstep and take command. Wow, yes, Kelly. time to be looking for the fans' praise. She 
Lee flips it back on her. Taking head over heels. Getting sucked. And this might not have a pleasant ending. kind of a butt kicking that's why they call it light work Cole barely even broke a sweat